What is up you guys, International Passport here for yet another video. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, it has been a long time and I apologize for that. I've been busy, I've been very busy with work, you know, getting some things sorted out and dealing with a few things as well. And I apologize for my absence. But now I'm back and I'm here to drop more videos on you guys. Once again, you can uh, follow me on my Instagram in the link below and you can share this video, you can subscribe, you can like and you can comment. I would really appreciate that. I'm trying to get the word out to brothers to get their passports, to travel and to meet beautiful women. So many women are out there checking for brothers that brothers need to experience that. Alright, so I'm back now. And I'm here to talk about Croatia. Croatia, Croatia, Croatia. And before I do, I want to get a few things out of the way first. First of all, um, let's talk about Eastern Europe in general. If you ask the average person, uh, they would tell you that Eastern Europe is racist. Which can be true to some extent. But however, racism is everywhere. And racism should not stop you from enjoying your lives. You have racism in America, you have it in Western Europe, you have it in Asia, you have it anywhere in the world. So the, the, the perception that, you know, Eastern Europe is racist can be true, but that shouldn't stop you from visiting countries like Croatia, Poland, so forth and so forth to meet beautiful women. Let me tell you this right now, okay? them chicks in croatia they are fucking gorgeous and guess what they are checking heavy for brothers out there in croatia i'm about to drop some huge game on you guys and make sure you watch this video to the end let's go so last year in 2018 around june uh, my plan was to go to italy rome specifically and I told my friends, you know, let's go to Rome and let's go out there and let's go out there and meet beautiful Italian women. And one of them said to me, nah, scrap that. Let's go to Croatia. And I was like, what? Croatia in Eastern Europe? Are you serious right now around this time of the year? And he was like, nah, we need to go down there. There's a festival called Fresh Island that's fucking lit and this festival called fresh island happens every year in croatia so he told us let's go out there to that festival only and i was like okay i'll, I'll check it out i'll try it out you know that was my first time ever in eastern europe uh so i was like okay yeah let's go out there to croatia to that fresh island festival now i had never heard of that place before and I never even knew that Croatia had a hip hop festival. So this festival called Fresh Island is a hip hop festival. So I booked my tickets in June and I went out there in July. Guys, let me tell you this right now. All kinds of fuckery goes on in that Fresh Island hip hop festival in Croatia. Essentially, right? You have a, a bunch of Croatian women who go out there to that festival to meet black men that was my experience and that was my friend's experience as well when you're in that festival right there are so many beautiful croatian women who are out there choosing heavy on black men i saw it out there myself i was chose so many times man i was like what the fuck croatia you know, a country in Eastern Europe, the women out there love brothers. I'm telling you right now. Okay. I saw black British brothers. I saw black American brothers getting chose on heavy. And it, it, this is also a fact as well. You have a lot of American brothers who come to that festival and they are getting chose on heavy by Croatian women. So it's common that when you go to that festival, on your first day, 
be expected to to bang a lot of Croatian women. Be expected to, at the end of the night, you know, you will definitely have sex. If you don't, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. If you're not getting chosen on by Croatian women in that festival, that's on you. That is literally on you. You're either fat, you're either flabby, and you need to hit the gym. Which is why I always propose that you hit the gym, you get a nice haircut, you wear nice fitted clothes. So, all in all, my experience during that festival was incredible. And I would strongly suggest that you guys try to go there this year, if not next year. Um, and also, if you're going through a drought and you're not meeting any women, hit up that festival, you know. Come down to Croatia and meet beautiful women. Now, I personally didn't only go to Croatia to go to that festival. A lot of my friends did. So, after that festival was done, it only happens over a course of a few days. Um, a few of my friends went back to London and a few of us stayed over and we went to Zagreb. And Zagreb is the capital of Croatia. You know, we wanted to explore more of Croatia and meet more women. Because although women come to that festival, Zagreb is the capital, so you're going to meet a lot of beautiful Croatian women. So, in our first day in Zagreb, we explore the place, we go around, go to tourist attractions, you know, the usual things tourists do. And we were basically just, you know, killing time, waiting for the nightlife. And when the nightlife came about, guys, it was fucking lit. So, we went to a, a club in Zagreb. Can't remember the name, um, but if you send me a message, if you write a comment down, I will try and find out the club. And we were queuing up, right? And there was this tall American brother, and he was a basketball player. He must have heard me and my friends talking and he asked us where we were from and we told him we're from London and he said he was from America and he was a basketball player in you know playing in Croatia we were like oh shit that's pretty cool right and we asked him right you know how what's going to be what's going to be our experience you know during clubbing with Croatian women and he starts laughing and he's like dude let me tell you this right now you are going to feast. You are going to have so many women around you when you go clubbing. You are just you won't you won't be able to handle all of them. So make sure you pick wisely. And I was like, oh shit, is is it that deep? And he was like, yeah. And he he told me that him being black and American just gets him girls. Like he was, and he told me that he would never ever go back to America that he's going to stay in Croatia because he gets so much attention. Back in America, you know, only the ratchet chicks were checking for him. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, he told me the chicks he wanted weren't checking for him, despite him being tall. But when he came to Croatia, he had eights, nines and tens going for him. Slim, thick Croatian girls, beautiful Croatian brunettes, all going for him, approaching him. Let him hit, let him, letting him know that she wants him and I was like oh shit so he invites us to the party and um, we give him our numbers and he tells us that you know he's going to introduce us to you know many beautiful women um, and we're going to have a great time so we leave it as that uh, we, we go in the club uh, we go our separate ways in the club he was with someone else I was with my friends, so um, we went to get some drinks and we waited around five minutes. You know, the club was quite busy. And when we get to the point of buying our drinks, the bartender tells us that a couple girls were talking about us. And we were like, who? And then he signals towards them. And then we see around four girls, you know, looking at us like watching us, like smiling at us, you know, drinking. And it just felt like, whoa, you know, 
that would never happen like in in London. You know, girls would normally look away or they would they would it would seem they like you, but they would play hard to get. But these girls were looking like looking at us like hawks. Like literally just staring at us. You know, smiling, drinking the drinks, you know, and it just felt like, whoa shit, like shit's about to go down in this club. So we buy our drinks, you know, we buy a couple shots and then, you know, the club was playing like old school hip hop. So Teach Me How to Dougie comes up. And then and personally I know how to Dougie, so I just started Dougieing in the club. And I was dancing, doing the Dougie, doing the Cat Daddy as well, alongside with it. And shit, like a lot of people, a lot of girls were looking at us. And when I finished dancing, like literally those girls that were watching us came up to us and started speaking to us. And they were like, oh, are you American? And I was like, nah, I'm from, I'm actually from London. Like, what? London? Seriously? I'm like, yeah, I'm from London. And then she says, oh, you, are you, you're from where Idris Elba is from? And I was like, yeah. And then she says that she likes Idris Elba. And I was like, um, okay. Then I must have heard her friend call me sexy. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, I looked at her, I was like, and I nodded to her and I asked her, what's your name? And she told me her name and we started, we all started speaking and a, a bit by bit. And it was clear that these girls were into us. So the plan was to, I was with around, I was with, I think, yeah, three other, no, was it four other guys as well? My friends. So the plan was to get one girl on each, on, for each guy. But there was obviously five, five guys, four girls. That's not equal. So I didn't know about my friends, but it was clear that both those Croatian chicks were into me and they were both fucking gorgeous. One of them was a brunette and the other one had like, um, she, she had like a great gym body. You could tell that she worked out a lot and she was cute as fuck as well. And that was one that uh, called me sexy. So I was personally more attracted to her than the others. And that goes back to what the American brother says. You know, there will be a lot of girls attracted towards you and you have to choose like the most prettiest girl there is that's attracted to you. And, that's, and that was a hard choice for me. But I went for a girl that called me sexy and we just started dancing and we went to like a different part of the club and I left my my friends to do what they want with those girls. So we're dancing, we're dancing and she was just fucking on it. Like the way she was moving, like her body, like the way she was grinding on me, like I was like, oh fuck, like I'm definitely getting some tonight. So we keep dancing, we keep dancing. And then she's like, oh, she wants a drink. Um, I was like, okay. So we go to the bar and she buys me a drink. And when I'm drinking, right, uh, another creation girl taps me, like touches, gently touches like my, like my arm. And she's like, oh, um, hey, um, how are you? And I was like, yeah, um, I'm fine. And then she asked me, are you from America? And I was like, no, uh, I'm from London. And she says, and she says, cool. Then she tells me that I look very nice. Like what I was wearing was very nice. And I said, thank you to her. And it was clear, like the more we talk, the more annoyed, uh, the girl I was with was, and the situation started to get awkward and then she cut in and said like we were <laughs> together <laughs> like guys she literally said that we were together like couples this was a creation girl i literally just met but she liked me so much 
that she just cut in in the conversation and said to that girl that we were couples. And then the girl was like, um, I didn't see you guys enter the club together. And then she tells the other girl and me that um, she was a model scout. And then she wanted to, she wanted to speak to me because, you know, I dress nice and I look good. And then she gave me a number and she said that she would wait for my message if I was interested. So I said, thank you. And just carried on fucking around with that other chick. I personally wasn't interested in her model scout nonsense. Uh, I thought she was cute as well. So I was definitely going to hear her up and speak to her about something else rather than modeling. So she goes and I carry on the night with the other girl. We're dancing, we're having fun. And I just couldn't believe how great her body was. Like, you know those fitness chicks, right? She had nice curves, she was slim, thick, nice ass, nice tits, flat stomach, amazing face, she smelled great, and I was just so fucking horny. So, the night nearly ends, and um, I tell her, let's go. And then she's like, yeah, let's go. So, we look around for our friends and her friends. And then my friends, man, they got their own chicks. One of them had two chicks on them. The others found their own chicks. And then we were like, dude, let's just go. Let's just fucking go. So it's like around 12 of us, like all just mingling. We're at the club. And then we tell those girls, like, we have a hotel nearby. <laughs> come along and for me personally that girl the girl I met in the club was definitely interested she was like yeah um I definitely want to come to your hotel and so you guys you know you guys know what went down with me amazing night you know it was just her body was incredible like those Croatian women they are packing something heavy I had a great night with her in the hotel it was amazing and that was my experience clubbing. That was literally my experience clubbing. It was amazing. So the following morning, uh, the girl I was messing with leaves. She, uh, we exchanged numbers and we agreed to meet up again. After that, um, I messaged the model scout I met the night before. Um, I told her that I wasn't interested in modeling but I wanted to get to know her better and um, if she could show me around the city while I get to know her that would be great so I was just waiting on, on her reply for that day and during that time I went on tinder and I set my profile up um, made it live and within like one hour I got around 35 matches and when I scrolled down through that list I had never seen so many gorgeous women like me. It was crazy. So many beautiful women liked me on Tinder. So the issue I, I had was who do I pick? I was only there for a few more days and I could only realistically see around two more women for each day and try to possibly smash so i picked the two i, I thought were great um, and we set the meet for later on in the week and that day was also the day where we had the party going on so i was just waiting for that party i went out the hotel you know uh got some food you know chat up with my friends they had their fun with the girls as well with their girls so um after that we were just waiting for that party and we chilled out for a bit 
went went to a couple of food spots and I'll tell you what guys apart from the woman in Croatia the Zagreb is a beautiful capital you know although I say go out there for for to meet beautiful women go out there too to experience a new culture to see the architecture and I'll tell you it's a it's a really beautiful city it's great we went to a couple more tourist spots ate some Croatian food chilled you know took pictures you know we had a great time in general we get a message from the american dude the american basketball player and he just says you know are you guys still coming to the party today and we were like yeah we, we wouldn't miss that shit, you know and he was like cool um i've told the girls all about you guys and we were like oh shit, tonight's gonna be fucking lit so the time comes, you know, we roll up. It was actually a house party. And you know how lit house parties are. So we roll through, you know, we, we walk in and, you know, already, man, we could see the, the caliber of women there were outstanding. It was minimum nine, maximum 10, no joke. Minimum, nothing below the number nine nothing below the nine no joke the girls there were either nines or tens not even eights that's how gorgeous they were and we the american dude you know comes to us and says oh man great you could make it um these are all my these are all my friends i was like oh shit, man like wow and there was one girl beside him and i think that was his girlfriend and i never asked by the way but she had uh, her arms uh, um, over his, you not know, alongside his. And I was like, wow. Oh my goodness. She was fucking gorgeous, man. So because I, I thought that was his girl, you know, I never tried anything with her. There were other beautiful girls in the house party. So once we go around he goes around introducing us to a whole bunch of girls and i could I, I already knew that some of them were looking at me they were eyeing me up and it was the choice where i had you know i had to pick who i wanted to pursue that night and it was so hard man like my friends as well like they could not believe what they were seeing like we were, we all came like to one we all went to one part of the um, house party and we were all speaking to each other and what we, what my friend said was like oh shit man wow the, the bitches here are off the charts those were those were the exact words he said the bitches here are off the charts like i don't know i don't know i don't know what to do here like i kind of feel nervous <laughs> like and that was the first time you know you know he's ever said that you know he's normally good with game he could approach any beautiful girl and literally get her. But even he told me that he felt nervous. He'd never been around so many beautiful women. You know, I felt a bit like, whoa, shit, what's going on here? Like, this shit was incredible. So, you know, we just party, you know, we all talk to each other. And I could see why he said, you know, being in a social circle is important because one of the girls I was I was eyeing up, her friends came through and then she introduced me to her friends and they were all smiling at me like they were all like they were all like, Oh, where are you from? Are you American? And and we just started speaking from there. And and guess what? Those were more options as well. And that got even harder. So I was thinking, who the fuck do I pick to game this night? Cause I definitely want to take someone home to my hotel but I don't know who. So I'm just relaxing, sitting down, drinking, chilling, talking about London with a, with a bunch of girls. And there was one girl that, you know, I had my eye on. She was drop dead gorgeous. And she was definitely interested in me and I was interested in her. So I decided to pursue her that night. Took her to my hotel and fucked her good. With the model scout, I actually cancelled on her. You know, I wanted to enjoy the rest of my holiday. So I spent the last day, you know, in Croatia, just doing more sightseeing 
and you know eating eating food you know chilling and having a great time so how do you know croatian women treat black men i can definitely say that croatian women treat black men very 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 well i would say the experience i had in croatia rivals that of estonia if you've seen my previous estonian woman i have i have many good things to say about estonian women and i have good things to say about croatian women croatian women are checking heavy for brothers out there they literally love us out there definitely get your passports and try to go out there you know it's it's a nice city it's a nice country and i think you have a great time over there i do want to mention one thing though one thing i've noticed i noticed was that croatian women are pretty tall you know it's not unusual to see you know a 510 or a 511 croatian woman walk about and with hills you know that would make them over six foot so if you don't like tall girls you are going to you know limit your dating pool in croatia because a lot of the pretty girls you know in croatia are quite tall so if that's not a problem to you then you're going to feast very very well definitely go out there guys it's a great country You've got some nice people out there and a lot of beautiful women check it out so that comes to the end of my video um if you liked the video you know definitely give it a thumbs up uh leave a comment subscribe and share the video around i really hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time take care